What's up guys, we're gonna be creating a uh, lighting input today. Uh, if you wanna follow along, you can just go to the description and hit this link. And it's a cool little website where you can uh, just basically make your own lighting web component. But we're gonna hit new and scroll down, hit LWC. And we're gonna get rid of the default stuff here. You can see on the right, there's a bunch of stuff. That'll pop up. Just keep the template, get rid of all the JavaScript. We're gonna to try to keep this as simple as possible, just creating a lightning input. Uh, we're gonna create a div at first, wrap it all in. Let's give it a class with sls-card. Make it look pretty. Then we'll also do another div and this will be our input and our text. Don't have to put these divs, I just make it to make it look pretty, just in case we want to add classes at the end or anything. Uh, we can say input some text. And inside this div, this is where we're going to create that actual lightning input. So, user wants to type in something. Usually it's text, a number, a password. This is how we're gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna do lightning, and we're gonna do dash input, and I'm goofy and I forgot that. Cool. And then we're going to also close it, which I'm a big copy and paste guy. Make a line. Cool. All right, now I wish it was that simple, but it's not. Uh, but you can see the input after it loads. And so we have to do some labels. We do label equals type some input. And now you can see that the actual lightning input is here. Now the user can type something. But it does no good if the user or if the program or the developer can't save that input or we can input it into a database or anything like that. So we're going to give it a label. Uh, we can actually give it a placeholder. It's cool. Equals. And we can say input here. And we're going to make this empty. And so what we need to do is create a variable in the JavaScript and then on the on change, we are going to set that label uh, or set that variable in the JavaScript every time they input something else. Um, so if you want to go to the left and go to the app.javascript, I'm actually going to close this and we can do it all up here. Uh, so first we're going to need a variable to store that text in. We can just call it text. And we can initialize it to us. It's just empty text. And we're going to need a function to keep track of the text. So for now, we're going to say bind text here. And we're going to console log. So y'all can see uh, text, bind text here. Cool, we're gonna save that, go back to HTML, but now that lightning input has to know what function to call. So in order for us to do that, there's an on change tag. We're gonna add that, on change, and usually see quotations, but if we're gonna do something that relates to the JavaScript, we're going to use brackets. Um, the function is called bind text. So we're gonna input some text, and every time they do a key press, what's gonna happen is that function is gonna get called and we're gonna track that log. So every time they press a key, so P, uh, E, Y, you see these console logs popping up. What you see is bind text here every time they text. So now that you know that the function is being called, let's actually do something in that function. Well, let's go to the JavaScript. Uh, first, we need to fix the parameters. Uh, so every time the user inputs a key and an event gets passed. And that gets put like this, the dollar sign. That's just a typical thing you'll see in JavaScript or TypeScript. Um, 
Next, we can get the value from that event and we can set it to uh, the variable text where we can show it uh, later in like the uh, module here. So in order to do that, we're going to say text equals event dot value. Uh, and how we do that is to say this, like this class, but this dot text equals event. And you don't have to put the dollar sign when we just call the parameter uh, dot target dot value. No quotes like that. Um, and that's it. Uh, so we can go back to the HTML. And we can say uh, text is, and so once again, we're calling something JavaScript, so we're going to put the brackets and we're going to call that variable. See, after we use a break statement to make it look somewhat nice, is every time we input, that text will change, or that variable will change. So let's say P E Y T O N, you can see. At the bottom, it is changing, and every time you backspace, it would do the same thing. That is usually what you use inputs for. Um, they also have a type on the uh, lightning input tag or the lightning input uh, component there, and you can do some types. So you can text, which is what the default is, but sometimes you want the password, right? And sometimes you don't want them to show the password. Well, that's where you do that. So, oops. So you can see that it shows in dots, but not in here. Uh, not when we show the text, of course, but the input actually shows the dots. That is lightning input, and that is how to bind it to a variable. Uh, it's pretty simple. And if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. And maybe later on, we can do a video to go more in depth.